Alan, an incredibly moving story. Three brothers um, who died within a matter of months. Mm -hmm. Let's focus first on the two that you do know about for sure, that you um, have the bronze memorial plaques, the widow's pennies uh, there in that envelope. Cornelius was 22. Correct. And Archie was just 19. Yes. They die in 1918. Yes. During the German Spring mm -hmm. Offensive. Mm -hmm. And as a result, um, their mother receives the widow's pennies. Yes. But there has never been one for William, who in fact died sooner, didn't he? He did, yes. He was the first to be uh, killed in action. Let's uh, check out William. He's with the, the hat and the pipe. Yes. He looks like a good time kind of guy, actually. He does. He looks a really well-built guy, yeah. doesn't he? You wouldn't want to meet him, would no. you, in any offensive? <laughs> <laughs> there is no military service record, which might have helped us work out where the penny went. Yeah. Um, but let's have a little look at what has been marshalled by the government, soldiers' wills, the soldiers' wills collection. And alongside William Birch's will was a covering letter. It is written by William Frederick Wisden. It's witnessed by a clergyman, Walter Hibbert, in Manchester. And if you look at the date, it's May 1917. And this letter is dictated by your great uncle, which means he was alive and in Manchester in early, or at least in spring, 1917. I have all my belongings to my unmarried, unmarried wife and children. There you are. Where have you got this from? <laughs> as I say, it's from the Wills collection. I think we can take as a given that Jessie, if she received pay, gratuity and all his belongings, she would have also received the widow's penny. I was hoping that the widow's penny would have been passed down to the family and everything. That's where it belongs. Indeed. We can't give you the original, but we have made you a replica because we felt that William Birch deserved that. Oh, wow. Oh. I, one of my cousins said to me, uh, if you can speak their name, they will never die. Yeah. And here they are, William Birch. Thank you.